Welcome back everyone. Earlier today, a report came out claiming that the Lakers might not be able to trade Russell Westbrook unless they give up a first round draft pick. And that would be pretty much every Laker fan's nightmare, as a majority of the fan base would definitely prefer to see him be traded, and obviously without having to give up a first round draft pick. Although, is that report really true? Will the Lakers actually not be able to trade Westbrook, or is all of it simply a case of other teams trying to play hardball? In my opinion anyways, it's very likely a mix of both, as there are definitely a handful of teams who are not willing to trade fairly with the Lakers, regardless of whether that trade includes Westbrook or not. And those teams would be more than happy to leak their thoughts on how they feel about the tradeability, or rather, the non-tradeability of Westbrook. In addition to that, even the teams who might be willing to trade for him are playing hardball right now too, as they want to pressure the Lakers into giving up more than they really should to get rid of Russ. And since no one can actually make a trade right now anyways, they have absolutely nothing to lose by doing that. But in reality, a number of teams know that his contract could actually help them. I made an entire video talking about why that is, so I won't get too in depth here, but to briefly sum it up, an expiring contract will always hold value. And yes, even a massive one like Westbrook's. Now it obviously does not hold value to a contending team, but to a rebuilding team that wants to get rid of long term contracts, and one that is not worried about the salary cap anyways, a contract like his can definitely hold value. And with all of that being said, I think there are actually multiple potential trades that the Lakers could make that do not involve giving up a first round pick. Now you may or may not feel differently about that, and either way is completely fine, but in today's video, we are going to review 5 Westbrook trades that could potentially save them from having to give up a first round pick. Without further ado though, let's dive into trade number 1, which is probably one that you've already seen as I am referring to the trade that would involve two of the biggest contracts in the entire league. If you have not figured it out by now, I am of course talking about John Wall and Russell Westbrook, both of whom have nearly identical contracts and could probably be swapped for each other with only a second round pick included. Like many of you, I am not really a big fan of this trade, but I think we can all agree that it would not require giving up a first round pick, and in order to form a baseline here, I wanted to include it. Along with that, the Houston Rockets were reportedly very open to making this trade back at the trade deadline, and to no real surprise either, as they would basically be getting trade assets in return for Westbrook on two different occasions. But again, I do not advise making this trade. I mean, it's definitely available for them to make, but like I said before, we are only going to be using it for our baseline. Now moving on to trade number 2 though, and here we have a deal with the New York Knicks, which would involve Westbrook and a future second round pick going to New York, and then Campbell Walker, Alec Burks, Nerlens Noel, and Evan Fournier being dealt to LA. You could maybe work a deal around Julius Randle here instead, but this deal would involve taking back all of the contracts that New York no longer wants. And whether or not the Knicks want to admit it, this deal would benefit them. They made a mistake in giving each of them that much long term money, and in order to improve their team moving forward, they will need to get rid of them. Although, that does not mean that they are bad players. They each do have relatively bad contracts, and they were not ideal fits around Julius Randle, but they would actually fit quite well around LeBron and AD. And that is why this trade could be worth making. Now I'm not sure how much draft compensation New York would demand here, or if they might be too stubborn to trade with the Lakers at all, but I don't think they could demand a first round pick here. They have a lot of bad contracts on their team, and they have little to no hope of competing next season, so rather than having them on their payroll for another 2 or even 3 years in the case of Evan Fournier, they could trade them for only 1 year of Westbrook. But now moving on to trade number 3, and here we have a trade that would depend on the Utah Jazz entering a rebuild, or in other words, if Donovan Mitchell demands to be traded. This deal would involve Westbrook and two future second round draft picks being dealt for Mike Conley and Bojan Bogdanovic, both of which hold very little trade value as well. 
And if Utah were to enter a rebuild, neither of them would hold any value to them at all, as in order for them to get anywhere in their rebuild, they would have to move on from each of them. You could even expand this deal a bit further if you want to as well, which could be done by including not only Conley and Bogdanovich, but also Rudy Gay, Royce O'Neal, and even Taylor Horton Tucker. In this trade scenario, Utah would be getting a young player in return with THT, and could get rid of even more contracts along the way while doing it, but in return for the Lakers taking them on, they would not be getting any draft compensation here. Now moving on to trade number 4 though, and we are actually going to be including the Rockets again here, which would not only involve acquiring John Wall, but Eric Gordon this time too. In order to acquire them and to make the trade work financially, the Lakers would have to give up Westbrook, Horton Tucker, Wenyan Gabriel, Stanley Johnson, and a future second round draft pick. Rather than simply trading Westbrook for Wall, they could throw in some young talent to spice up the deal a bit, which could be very intriguing to a rebuilding team like the Rockets. And one veteran guard that they might actually have interest in acquiring from them happens to be Eric Gordon. No, he may not be an all-star level player, but Eric Gordon remains a very good rotational player. Although, at 33 years old and with an injury history, he does not hold a ton of trade value. And the Rockets know that time is running out for them to get an asset in return for him. So rather than getting nothing for him, they could include him in the deal with Wall to get rid of both of their contracts. And if it would save them a first round draft pick, the Lakers probably would not mind that either. Because not only would Gordon actually be a good fit for their team, but his contract is not guaranteed beyond this year anyways. Before you go asking why I would include Eric Gordon over Christian Wood here though, you need to remember that the goal of this video is to save the Lakers from having to give up a first round draft pick. But now moving on to our fifth and final trade. And here we have Westbrook and one second round draft pick being dealt to Charlotte for Gordon Hayward and Kelly Oubre. If there are two players who might actually have a worse contract than Westbrook, they would have to be John Wall and Gordon Hayward, and whether or not their teams want to admit it, they know that to be true. In addition to that, if the reports can be believed, both the Hornets and Gordon Hayward want to move on from each other, but unfortunately for them, a trade involving Hayward alone will not generate much interest. It's not that he is a bad player, but between him being a bit injury prone, along with his relatively long term and fairly large contract, he holds very little to no actual trade value. And when it really comes down to it, the only two teams who might be interested in trading for him could very well be the Rockets and the Lakers. Although, with Michael Jordan being the Charlotte Hornets owner, who as we know, has a great relationship with Westbrook, the Lakers would be the clear favorites between them. And all it would take to make a trade work financially between them would be to throw in Kelly Oubre, who is another guy that the Hornets reportedly want to move on from anyways. In my opinion, this trade is the most likely and probably most realistic Westbrook trade that does not require giving up a first round draft pick. But before I conclude the video, here is a little bonus for all of you who stuck around until the end. And here we have a large, and kind of crazy three team trade that could potentially save them a first round pick. Now I'm not going to dive into this one too heavily, as I don't find it very likely to happen, but this trade would land them both Gordon Hayward and Malcolm Brogdon without having to give up a first round pick. With all of that being said though, that will conclude the 5 Westbrook trades that the Lakers could make that do not require giving up a first round draft pick. And what do you guys think? Which of them was your favorite? Let me know your thoughts by commenting down below and we can talk about it there. That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to those of you who took the time to watch until the end of this video and until the end of all of my videos in general. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. But as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.